Hey guys, so this is the Nokia 5710 Express Audio. Now this is a feature phone, the kind of phones we were used to around 20 years ago, remember those days? But in typical Nokia fashion, it's got a super unique but useful feature built right in. And that is these truly wireless earbuds that are built right into the phone. So let's get into the review. Now honestly, there is no reason why anyone in 2022 should own a feature phone if you already have a smartphone in your pocket. Having said that, I still believe that there is a place for a feature phone in your pocket and it's because I personally would term a feature phone like this as a detox phone. And the reason I call it that is something I'll explain later. Now in this rather unflattering package, you can already see the phone inside. Now upon opening, you get the quick guide, the micro USB charging cable, the removable 1450 milliamp hour battery, the truly wireless earbuds that you'll need to place inside the phone for them to charge and function. And of course, the Nokia 5710 Express Audio phone itself and snap back the cover. Now the build of this phone is what you'd expect from a feature phone. It is unapologetically plastic, but this is super light. So it is really a treat to handle, especially when you've been used to heavy smartphones nowadays. And the upside of it being so light and made of just plastic and no glass elements anywhere is that even if you drop it, it falls on the floor, the back cover can just pop open and you can just place it back in like we used to. There is no fear or there is no need to get a protective case or a cover or a screen protector. It just saves you so much money and it is such a relief to sometimes handle these phones which you could also use as a weapon to throw and whack someone in the head. Now the wireless earbuds are also made of plastic and they're rather slippery in the hand and it's a one size fits all scenario. There are no ear tips involved here. So you may or may not find the most perfect or snug fit. It depends on the size of your ear canal, but in general, I think it is okay. Definitely not the most comfortable, but it'll do the job. Now up front, you have a 2.4 inch screen with a resolution of 240 by 320. Obviously, by today's standards, it's a very bad screen, but for a feature phone, it's okay. Now, another thing I really appreciate about this is the physical keyboard. It is such a relief to type on a physical keyboard with a tactile feedback because I remember when I used to have these feature phones back in the day, I would watch TV and text my friends and I would never have to look down at the keypad because I knew exactly where the keys were and I would send numerous messages without a single typo because you exactly know the muscle memory works perfect with these phones, which it doesn't really work so well with touchscreen phones because there is no tactile feedback, there are no physical buttons. So that sucks. I really miss that. But with this, that was a welcome change. Now the keyboard is also backlit. So typing in a dark room shouldn't be a problem at all. Now on either side of the phone, you have some media control buttons. So on one side, you have a skip track button and a play pause button. And on the other side, you have the volume rockers. Now these are large, very clicky tactile buttons and they come in very handy. Say when you're using the inbuilt FM, you can skip to the next station, lower the volume, play or pause. So that comes in really handy. And this phone also supports micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. So you can load your favorite songs into that card, place it in the phone and then listen away using its loudspeaker. Of course, this phone has the snake game built right in. And I remember playing the original snake game on my mother's Nokia 3310 back in 1998 or 99, I remember. So yes, playing that also brings back a lot of memories. Now let's talk about the main thing, which is the truly wireless earbuds. So these sit snug and secure under the sliding flap at the back of the phone. And that is also where they charge. Now, as soon as you take them out and the Bluetooth of the phone is turned on, they pair automatically. And once the initial pairing is done from your next go, each time you take it out, they are automatically paired and you can listen to the radio or songs that are in your micro SD card slot right from there. Now, these truly wireless earbuds don't have any physical buttons or don't have any touch sensitive area. So any control you want to do to change the track or the volume, you'll have to do that through the phone. And thanks to the magnetic pins on the earbuds and in the charging case inside the phone, they snap into place automatically. So you don't really have to fiddle around trying to align it perfectly each time you're done using it and placing it back into your phone. Now these truly wireless earbuds have inbuilt microphones. So yes, you can take calls on them, but say you're listening to music or listening to the radio and you get a call, 
There are no buttons, so you can't answer the call using just the earbuds. You'll have to physically answer the call using the phone. But yes, you can talk away thanks to the microphones and the quality of the microphones were rather decent. There was no distortion and I was more or less audible on the other end. So call quality was okay. Now, as far as the audio quality of these truly wireless earbuds are concerned, well, I have to say that they are average at best. So between the three frequencies that make up any sound that you hear, highs, mids and lows, there was no real separation. Now, they're not muffled, but they lack any detail. In terms of bass response, well, bass response was absolutely weak. There is no thump, there is no real thick bass. It's just average. You just about get some bass. But when you think about the fact that once you're done listening, you can just place the earbuds back into the phone and it'll start charging and you don't have to carry a separate earbud case. I think that is a very good feature and that kind of makes up for the lack in audio quality. Now let's talk about the camera at the back of this phone. So it's got a VGA camera with 0.3 megapixels and the images it produces are stunningly bad. Really, I mean, obviously it's a VGA camera. It's literally not even a one megapixel camera. So it's got very bad images, but obviously you don't get a phone like this for its camera. You get it for its basic features and of course the unique two wireless earbuds built right inside. Now, the reason I call this a detox phone is because it is so bare bones in feature. I mean, it literally has nothing. It doesn't have a great camera. It doesn't have any of the bells and whistles that you're used to or you have in a real smartphone. So there is obviously nothing you can do with it. You can just listen to some radio, some songs, play the snake game, and that's it. And that is why this is such a refreshing change. It is such a detox. It resets your system because, I mean, admit it, with our smartphones, how much time do we spend scrolling endlessly through social media? And our need, our desire for gratification on social media is going up day by day. We get depressed when we don't get the likes and the views. It happens to all of us. So sometimes a phone like this, a feature phone or a dumb phone as you may call it, this serves as a reminder that there is so much more to life. When you have a phone that can't do much, you have so much time to do things that are worthy and that should take up more of your time than scrolling through your phone. Obviously, you get withdrawal symptoms because when I was using this, I kept wanting to go back to my Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, in my defense, I don't use my phone to play games. I edit photos, I answer emails. I do a lot of work which serves me. But sometimes using this, which has nothing, I know that I can just use this and the maximum time I'll use this is for five minutes, seven, eight minutes, and then it has nothing more to do. So then I'm going to do something else, which is worthwhile. Now, obviously, I don't suggest that everybody lets go of their smartphones and get a feature phone. No, that is not practical nowadays. But if you have a phone like this somewhere tucked in your cupboard, sometimes you can just take it out, swap your SIM card and just use this to reset your system. Just to take a break from the social media consumption that we do 24-7. So in that sense, this truly is a detox phone. All right, guys. So that was my review of the Nokia 5710 Express Audio, this feature phone. I hope I've answered everything. I have tried to keep it as honest as possible based on my personal feedback. If you have any thoughts of your own, do let me know in the comments below. Now, this is also available in a different color, which is white and red, which looks far better, but that wasn't available. And I'm also scared that that will get dirty very fast. So this is the safe bet. So yeah, uh, this was my take on this phone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please show your support and love by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.